Hello, everybody. <clears throat> oh, just a second. Okay. Uh, so thanks again if you're watching this. I'm, uh, I'm going to keep going. It's my head. It's my head. Anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting on the hair, um, continuing with some of the, the details throughout the face. Um, and even a little bit more blue through the, the coat, the jacket. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with my Sable flat brush, this one right here. Um, I like this one because it holds quite a bit of water. Okay, so if I recall correctly, for the hair, I decided to go with this right here is kind of the base, um, and if I recall correctly, I used some of this umber, burnt umber. Let's put some over here, and some yellow. If I recall correctly which I think I do. Maybe it had some thing else as well, but I can't. So this is why you should write down what you use, because I thought I'd remember, but I guess I don't. So, maybe a little bit of this. Looking a little bit too yellow. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Water down some more. Okay, yeah, this is pretty good. This is close enough to get me started. Uh, so, as I've done before, I'm going to pre-wet the hair. Just with water. I'm trying not to go over some of the other paint that I have already laid down, because it is watercolor. Water will make it dissolve and it will run. And that's not what I want. So let's go to here, to here. Again, I'm trying to turn my head so that I can see where I have the water. Uh, if I move that, that's going to mess up everything. Um, so, just bear with me as I try to get this entire section the hair pre-wetted. So I had planned to have this finished by today, but just things kept coming up, I kept doing other things, like going to the movies. Which, by the way, I did see Krampus at the movies, and it's quite enjoyable. I didn't know what to expect, um, but it's got Adam Scott in it, and that other guy, that other guy's name, uh, that's another uh, comedian. Um, but the movie was actually quite enjoyable. I thoroughly enjoyed it, actually. Truth be told, Krampus is what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah. That's what I was doing instead of painting this, uh, but I needed to go out that night. The reason that I'm pre-wetting this is because I don't want to have a 
any hard edges in the hair just yet. Not with the base color. Again, those hard edges, um, they're, they're nice sometimes. I don't know if you can tell, but I've got some hard edges already going on in the face, and that's what I want. I want to have some hard edges uh, in the areas with the, the most detail. Um, but softer, softer work throughout the, the rest of the, the painting. And so again, this is going to be my first pass as with every other uh, area of this painting. I lay down a base color first, and then I work on uh, everything else. Okay. And again, it's okay if it goes a little bit over this edge. Uh, because I want those two uh, colors, those two sections kind of uh, mixing together in some areas where the, the hair kind of feathers out. So, let's keep going. Let's start adding our color. Um, I'm going to start over here. You can see it. Yep. You can see it. I need to mix a little more. <coughs> Excuse me. Double checking that's uh, close. Uh, close enough. Okay. So it might be a little darker towards this side, but again, it's fine because I will be continuing to darken it up on this side, anyways. Just going right up to that edge. Some of that will be overlapping. So this is looking a little bit yellowish, and that's why I started out on this side. A little bit redder as well. Um, that's okay. This part is going to be very dark in the finished painting. It will not be this color at all. This again is just our base, base color. Okay, once again, a little bit more of the burnt umber if I want to get towards shade on that side I think. Let's see what we've got there. Okay, that's pretty closer. Um, a little bit more of the umber zone. That's 
close enough for our purposes for now. It does look a little bit better than this in this. So as I said, I'm trying to work fast so that I don't have any hard edges and it looks like this part might be drying a little bit already. Uh, it's actually not too bad. There we go. It's pretty good. This part right here might need a little bit more color. I'm going to go ahead and start adding in some uh, directional indicators for the, the hair. Actually, I'll hold off on that. Um, I'll do that in a little bit because uh, I want to use a little bit of a dry brush for that. But I am going to go right to this edge here. There we go. There we go. There we go. <coughs> Now there is a little bit of um, a gap kind of right around here. So I'm going to take out some of this and hope it leaves some of the color from underneath. Uh, if not, I'll add some more in. Right there, it looks a little bit strange right now, but it's going to be this section right here, this little bit right there. Just a second, just a second. Okay, so let's let's keep going. Um, so I'm gonna wait for the hair to dry. This part of the hair. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm since since this down here is still needing some blue and it's not connected to the, any of this up here, I'm gonna start adding in a little bit more of the blue down through here. Um so where did that blue go? Here we go. Wait, no, that's not it. This is it. I'm seeing things. Okay. On, open up, no bother. There we go. Reference with a little bit of a shadow because it's a little bit folded, but it's going to go back here.
There's a cat here. Kitten. So, if you want to know why there's so many cat hairs on my painting, it's because <laughs> this little cutie walks around all over my desk. Right, kitten. Don't you, kitten? Kitten. Hi, kitten. Hi, kitten. Hi. <gasps> yeah, she walks all over the place because she owns it. She just lets me do it. Let's keep going with this. I think I'm gonna leave the coat there because I definitely do not want to overdo it. There's a kitten here, right here. Let's see if I can get it off. Can you see it? No, you can't see it. But it's right here. Let's see. Kitten hair. Anyways, where was I? Over here. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry before I start anything on the base because I don't want any mishaps. 
No mishaps. No Mr. Haps either. Um, so, um, how's your day going? Good. Um, yeah, let's watch paint dry. I've heard it's the most exciting thing in the world. There it goes. There it goes. It's drying. So one thing you want to keep in mind is sometimes when the paper does warp, it will rip the tape off. Experienced that quite a bit in one of the, the lessons. Um, if you're one of my students watching this, uh, remember when we were painting our watercolor Halloween uh, monsters? Um, we we had to take the painting off of the table um, a little bit, but I think um, one of yours was actually peeling off quite a bit. Um, but a lot of them uh, didn't, so uh, I think it has something to do with the warping of the, the paper with the water. So I'm going to let it dry. Uh, if, um, uh, if you're watching this, I'm going to go ahead and pause here to have a little bit of a dinner. Um, it has been almost half an hour, um, which is about the average time that I spent on these uh, every time. So I, I really should be spending more time on these. But again, with watercolor, you have to pause and let it dry um, quite often. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Actually, uh, no, I am going to go ahead and stop here. I don't want to do that yet. Um, uh, or do I? No, I'm going to go ahead and pause here. Uh, anyways, thank you very much for stopping by. I'll be back on later tonight. Uh, so if you are watching this, thank you. A uh, big thumbs up, thumbs up to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe um, if you're new to this. Um, that's what I should be saying. Like and subscribe. Uh, that way uh, it helps me um, know that people are into um, traditional watercolors, and especially from a realistic perspective. There we go. That's what we have. Um, anyways, thank you very much. Uh, I'll be back after I have a little bit of something to eat. And this is dry. Goodbye. Goodbye.